Hello everyone and welcome back to our glorious city that is uh, growing and uh, growing and growing it is not only with our city but also with our fleet because we finally, oh, finally enemy. have a battleship out there it is. In all its glory really this is a mighty ship and this is going to help us ship a lot securing attack. well the channels and stuff like that. One of them is actually already as good as four heavy warships I think. Something around that should be right and yeah we're going to use it of course in well in our worlds now with that we can probably send it right to the new world as in the new world we do get some attacks there uh, quite often and i can save some of my ships over there to send them to the arctic we Ready could by the way also have it in the arctic itself right where it is securing the area door there in the arctic though not much damage or not much danger is out here yet benta has uh, these battleships out there actually <laughs> actually let's send it to the Fire arctic the and with that i'm going to secure some of my areas there as well to cape storm it is i'm by the way also in the process of building a second one right and after that we can actually build the third one so i think we have enough advanced weapons right now to always have one queued up and that is the goal of course as these are now completely replacing the heavy warships then in the future now something else that i would like to go for over here is we do have a bit of a problem there with the coal and the filaments and actually i would like to use another one of my trade unions this one here and that we are placing so that we reach the maximum amount of light bulb factories that we have in its surroundings. So let's just add some proper street around it too. And let's build this one. Another 20 influence. We can still afford that just fine. And in this building here now, we do have an item, if I remember correctly, that should, there it is, science whiz affects the light bulb factories that it produces filaments on top of um their light bulbs this is going to help us out there a bit with the filaments now for the glass we are really out of glass aren't we once more um it's a bit hard to understand a glass we actually also produce with the spectacle factories right so they also produce us some yep extra goods that is the glass and also extra goods that is the light bulbs so hmm, we actually do have quite a nice uh, synergy there we still don't have enough glass how is it looking with my sand it's also looking really bad now the sand is something that we should be having in the in the docklands if i'm not mistaken no actually we still have the sand mine all right um by the way for the docklands another thing that is very important i need to upgrade a few more items there to the next levels to unlock us a few more modules so the beer is coming in now to the to the next level and i've also switched um my wool with the sausage over here for the salt peter so that we boost the sausage there right so a thousand we need for the first level and for every item that we have in the first level we get plus one on export offices um and the same goes then for the rarity level up here here um and with that we will then hopefully be able to unlock the zinc yes one more trade contract and then zinc and copper opens up very important as demand for brass is insanely high and i would like to use these raw materials for that as well another cargo ship is coming out we are going to need it we are so going to need it i'm also just checking real quick if there's any battleship right now in the area mine Ready is leaving now by the way, uh, what I could check is, do we have any ship items? Nothing here, nothing at least in Crown Falls that could boost the strength of this ship. So that should be... Yeah. That should be on our list, actually, that we do this. Now, anyway, let's get back to the Arctic. In the Arctic, well, I have got Cape Storm. I got a ship under attack. Once again, it's just a passing one, though. And, yeah, we got the plateau up here now, where also the trader is going back and forth. Now, look at that. There's already enough schnapps and pemmican food now on it, so it's getting, it's, it's starting to cap up there. Um, and this should help uh, Cape Storm there as well, replenishing its materials and goods. Coal is full. Schnapps is full. Pemmican is full. The only thing, oil lamps. For that, however, we do need to have a couple more um, people. So 500 it should be. And we are going ahead here with the next one, the next heater that we're probably placing a bit further up here then for this whole district. And we are also um, taking these people into account. Perhaps I might be able... Your harbor is under attack. What is going on? Ah, there it is. A suicidal heavy warship. It's going down no problem what we could try here is and that is really really hopefully working we could squeeze it in like that let's just try this one out having it here right so this one we reach with that this one we reach with that 
this one here, it's a close call. It's a very close call. Ah, and it's unfortunately not working. I was hoping that we could push it up to this point here at least. Right, this is the one that we need. If I want to go for that, then the heater goes to this area. That's not looking... It's looking perfect! Very nice! We can actually have those two here with one heater, and that's how it should be. Also, the um, sky trading post is close enough, so, yep, we can use this one as a trading hub there for the the heater right so it can go all the way up there getting its coal and this should just work out perfectly fine how very nice really very good so with that let's go ahead and build us a few more houses here this one we can get rid of as we no longer need a road there really and here i probably will then just squeeze in a whole bunch of these right all of them get their appropriate heating and then a few more blocks here we should not forget of course about a canteen very important that we have these here out as well and then some more here boy what a lovely area <laughs> and i totally would like to live in this tent here i mean look at that if you're sleeping in the night and just take one misstep oh it's going down there and no one's ever going to find you again because that's basically how it's looking let's build the heater it gets its coal now already from over there perfect and then we basically can actually build all of the houses there if we have enough timber Oh, this is looking really great. Let's just have a quick look around there. There's an airship leaving at the moment. Off you go. Ah, uh, we saw the Claus is also once again in the Arctic present. <laughs> and a beautiful view, really. Fantastic. Right, and a few smaller battles down here. And yes, also the trader has arrived now for Tobias. So we have upgraded now the sausage. Not the beer though, attack. unfortunately. I think, yep, because we're trading so much coal with the beer that it's Your just not enough volume. Oh, goodness, we sick. lose or we miss seven tons of beer. All right, with you the next confusion. trade though, that should be working out. Did we? But we upgraded one. So shouldn't we actually get now a an export Ship office? No, we did attack. not. Right, it seems though, despite unlocking more items, we have reached the maximum amount of expert offices we can have on Crown Falls. So I cannot build any more, thus I cannot build any more trade contracts or up unlock any more trade contracts. So we need to have more Docklands in place. And one of them would be Larsen, um, which is just across the, the channel really, on the other side. And here I could have another Docklands now just beside the main the wharf. And the thing with that is we might actually build it here anyway, because it basically is needed for our um, zinc and copper um, import here, right? So what I could be doing is, first of all, let's build us the next export offices so I can build one more, I think. Yes, one more it is that we have now. Um, and with that, let's open up the export trades. We have two available. There we can see zinc is at export import 11 out of 12. So if I add now one more, uh, we should be really unlocking then zinc. And there it is. Yes, we have unlocked the next tiers here. Um, and by the way, this makes sense because with that, we can also have Docklands in the New World and use it then for the New World um, goods that we need over there. Now, let's just check it. Um, of course, timber is not a very good one, um, a very good thing to trade. So I would probably like to go with a new trade rod that uses this clipper, the Pelican. And let's just open this one up, this trade rod. It goes from Crown Falls to Larsen right away. And it is doing what exactly? It's getting sewing machines because sewing machines are already really valuable to us. So let's just get all the sewing machines there are. Really, it's going to cap up anyway again, right? Um, rather quickly and with the sewing machines that we have on the highest tier value so this one is shared across the world right so this is always the same and we can now use the sewing machines to trade the not only the zinc but also copper and i would really like to do it like that um probably around 100 sewing machines and 100 uh copper and look at how much it is actually in total then this is insane this is beautiful um i could do the same thing for the coal as well and we should be doing that however of course my sewing consumption is really going through the roof for that so we might need to keep a close look on that and might need to fix it at some point let's also get us um some more building materials for larsen so we still need some more bricks over there some steel beams i would also like to go with some windows and that's about it to increase the size of our docklands here all right let's actually go to the new world as well because in the new world um i'm pretty sure that we can build the docklands here too and there it is truck 
Do uh, Docklands, and we can add them to Tristau, and that actually makes sense. Tristau is our capital city, after all, in the new world, and it should be looking proper. Now, I'm just going to move my cannons to that side over there, because if there's an attack coming, it's always coming from that side anyway. And with that, we open up some harbor area. Boy, Tristau certainly has a huge harbor area, and it has a lot of resources, so we can build the the Docklands rather quickly. I'm not going to destroy these towers here, by the way. Um, not that we really do need all of them, but it is just a very good boost to our military score. Um, let's go ahead and have the Docklands then here as well, right? So kind of like over there. Make a connection. This is actually adding attractiveness. Uh, wait a second. Instead of these dirt roads here, we might be then just having some here. And in the center, we could probably go with some ornaments. There you go, a nice statue that is just looking out there um, and looking proud. I really don't like that the different color schemes here are in effect though. And unfortunately, I don't think we can really change that, right? So it's looking like that. For now, at least. Now with the Docklands, let's just see, we definitely can then build us... Oh, we also got the Loading Your Wharf here. Ah, oh, come attack. on! Something terrible is going on out there. And yes, it is Your Princess Ching is or Bente. It's Bente, actually, with a battle cruiser. The cool thing is, well, we do have a battleship now in the area. Finally, so let's put it to action there against the battle cruiser. Hmm, it might actually be coming too late, might it be? Nah, there it's attacking already. Loading stations. Ship under attack. Taking down that battle cruiser over there. Just very nice. And yeah, we have finally now a guardian in the Arctic. I might actually be sent a second battleship then to the region. That was by the way really close here. Um to the region in order to finally also protect all my islands then here and that should be the goal of course one is fine there's also a cargo ship of bente let's keep the battleship somewhere here in the center so that it can always quickly help out i feel so much more safe with this one well but we were in the process of getting us the docklands working out here too for that well i do have a couple of options once more available so the expert offices are one of them we still have a couple of windows available so let's just go ahead and start building us some proper um, Dockland modules over there and look at that it even has the new world style to it I love mods this modding community is insane and with that yeah it's looking proper it's just looking like it fits to Tristau just fine and we do have now of course all the options once more so we have once more here our um, pyramid and we could of course add then a new world product to that now the problem here is right now that I think in Tristau we're not really having anything of value of real value we are exporting some plantain here I think there is actually something that is required chocolate it is required to, we need to um, export plantains to unlock the chocolate and we need the chocolate to unlock the tobacco <laughs> and the coffee and the coffee for the cigars then so if we want to go down this route it's just required also here we have the cotton fabric export office um, 20 of them so that's a huge amount now what could we trade the plantains with though it is a bit tricky right Mm, I could go for some tortillas. Yes, actually, we do need tortillas in Tristau. How many of them would we actually right, need? Four per minute. That is actually quite a lot. Hmm, that would be 80 for 20 Lost minutes. Oh, well. Um, We are close, right? So if I get a second good that might be rolling here, for example, my alpaca wool. And we are using it for tortillas there once more. Oh, this is even worse than plantain, I see. Hmm, doesn't matter. We're actually doing it for the volume, right? To um, well, to unlock a few more goods here to the next pyramid level so we can have more trade contracts in total. Let's go ahead with this just one. And let's attack. also make sure that we just have the right amount of um, overproduction then. Do we actually... Oh, we are already having an overproduction of these. Are starting to get sick. And let's just check it how many we produce too much. Six per minute for this just one. Only attack. one for the alpaca wool though. Ah, look at that. She's trying to fight back now. But with what? With an ironclad ship. No chance for really here. Ship under attack. Of course, it could get a bit worrisome if there's more of them. But even this one is barely scratching it. And just when we're at it, we have finished the next battleship. Let's send this one out there to the Arctic as well, right away. Very important that we get these out. And yeah, we can already commission the next one. 
Now it's going to take a while before the brass that we have in surplus now or surplus production is really reaching the Arctic, right? So before that happens, oh yeah, this ironclad is actually fleeing. We might take it, but unfortunately we're a bit stuck here. And these are really fast ships, so no chance there, but doesn't matter, right? Let's put my ba battleship there again. Perfect. So it's going to take a while before we really see the effect of the additional brass coming in. What I'm doing in the meantime is I'm going to stop the oil lamp now. Also, the first trade has happened here in Larsen finally. So we do have a full zinc and copper deposits. Coal is not looking so great. So coal might be my next truck that we want then. Uh, let's just go ahead and have another warehouse for these poor souls over there that don't have a warehouse close by and would have tremendous amount of <laughs> basically of well distances there to travel we also have a couple of options here for items none of them is particularly useful at of at the moment and we do have some resources to build us another export office let's go ahead and do this and with that we can now finally also um take the, the swing machines that we have here and get us coal in so we do need more of that way more of that and let's say another 100 so we're trading now 300 every 20 minutes that should really be something we can compensate with the amount of sewing machines that we produce in crown falls um with the right amount right we are at almost 50 right now i mean this is insane that is a huge amount of sewing machines we are producing with 50 per minute that's a thousand every 20 minutes beautiful absolutely and that is only the surplus right it's not even the the things that already are being consumed these are already taking into account here very nice this whole thing is continuing to work we just need to make sure that we always have enough locks basically and enough steel in store and well we are golden really for the swing machines now meanwhile on the cape we have now more timber again so we can build those final houses here uh, another well area another district is now finished with that all of these people here and also the canteen that is working so i really just need to unlock now the oil lamps with Your the additional explorers we should be on our way to un to unlock that right they do have everything else the pemmican food um oh and they also even haven't unlocked schnapps yet even though we are already getting schnapps over um this might be very important really because that will be another boost to our consumption or to our well how should i say that people let's have this one i think this should be fine yep this one is reaching its heat and here we can add another three to that a bit close here to the gas mine but really who cares and there we can have another three then popping up as well on this edge and with that i think we should be golden All right, my other airship is now delivering the oil lamps that we're going to need here for the upgrade. So it's a one-time only exchange. Um, this one here can actually now choose the oil lamps as well. And I think we're doing that. Of course, I'm taking away the oil lamps from Cape Stone, but I've disabled it already. So it doesn't really matter. They will be able to live without oil lamps for a few times, right? The Chile explorers there, we don't need that bunch of explorer workforce. The technicians, however, they're going to keep the oil lamp. Otherwise, they're going to be very angry at us and I'd rather not get their wrath. Now, now, this one should be fine. I think there were some... There is some flu here as well. Oh, yes, about the flu. I totally forgot. We do, of course, need an Arctic Lodge um, up here as well. The Ranger Station. Probably, or best, two of them. And for that, I do need to find the proper location first. This one doesn't require... Uh, this one doesn't get the heat anymore. Or if we have it here in the center, then it reaches everything. Let's go for the center place here. And the only thing we do need is a bit more timber. We are really lacking timber a lot. We're getting a lot of timber in Cape Storm though, so that's fine. Uh, oil lamps are being traded now as well. Perfect. And I think we should have unlocked it now. Yes, there it is. Oil lamps finally are being consumed. How many of them? Zero. How very convenient. All right, so I guess it's close to one per minute. And Schnapps is also coming in now, so these people are way happier. We got 900 explorers now. Um, for one of these gas mines, we're going to need 250. All right, so we could actually build three of them already over here as well. We do need the gas pump them. That's timber and steel for here. And then also three here. And over here, I was actually also going to build one. It does get the heat. Perfect. 
for these guys. Okay, we could actually also get us a second battleship already in the queue. So now for real, I'm going to build us a second advanced or steam shipyard. So I can build two uh, battleships now at the same time. And also some cargo ships in the back once these have been finished. So we essentially just doubled that. Oh, this one still needs, of course, its electricity spot here as well. By the way, let's make it like that. Very good. Production is going on. Now in the Arctic, we do need now... Oh God, another flu... Right, so first of all, let's build the... Oh, influence. For real. Hmm, wait a second. Then I'm going to stop my carb here. That's 19. We can upgrade a few more investors, though. There we go with a bit more influence. And those guys here. That's 37 influence that we have now. This is something we can work again. Holy cow. It's expensive. It can't be the building that I meant, actually. Arctic Lot. It's the ranger station, of course. This one here. And this one is affecting all of them now. Very good that we have them up here as well. Um, the goods we can then unload. And let's actually... I think we have everything. Let's get us a warehouse up there as well. To finally, finally start with our very first gas production in this gas mine here. The only thing I need is upgrading my chili explorers and we can actually go ahead now and do this. Let's go ahead and get us technicians on Tensing Island. Get us those guys here first. Right, so that's a 250 technicians that I have now. Of course, Timber once again is proper or the, the, the problem. All right, actually pretty expensive, but with that we can yep, build all of them. Four towers are now working, and we have also finished this quest here now. Gas extraction finally is in place. And with that, we're starting now here the gas pump, as we can see. Now, this changes a couple of things, and it makes a couple of things also a bit easier. So, let's just have a look at my um, airship here. We still should be getting some more timber, but before I do that, let's go to Old Nate for some very interesting items. Also something very interesting, we could theoretically get rid of the coal heaters now here in Tensing Island and that's what I'm going to do. We have now a production of gas of one per minute, which doesn't seem to be that much uh, considering how much gas we have there. But let's just wait and see how it really pushes up then. And let's get rid of this one here and instead have the gas heater. Right, gas heater is getting the gas now from the station. We no longer need the coal with that and it's consuming now gas. And I'm doing it with the second heater over here as well. This one, on let's get rid of that and have a gas heater instead. Right, so we no longer need the coal up here now. I can completely get rid of the coal and instead I'm saying uh, get the gas of Cape Storm and get it, oh, vice versa, get it on Tensing Island and get it to Cape, Trilo, uh, Cape Storm. And that would be the, the gas, of course, you go, you purchase the last chair there once more. We just need to make sure that it's not permanent. Um, the coal, of course, the remaining ones we need to unload right. once. Might but with that, we no longer really do need the the coal Ship transportation. It just don't need that much coal anymore. Ship under attack. Stay tuned.